Like what? Oh, uh, in the movie Monsters, Inc.? Oh my gosh, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't th you didn't think I was going there, did you? No. Uh, those doors were four-dimensional portals to, to another... The, the, that's possible? Well, if you had four dimensions, that's what it would look like. Do you remember the movie? You yes. Open, they take the doors home. Yes. They open the door, and they're in the closet of the kid that they're going to terrorize. Yes. You, that's a wormhole. That's what, that is what access to the fourth dimension looks like. Do you think scientifically that's possible one day? I, was, I hope people... so. I hope so. Really? Because here's the example. We, we, we've got a nice broad desk we hear at, at, at this interview, right? So desk is two dimensions. It's got length and width. And I can start putting papers on this desk. And I can lay them out mosaic style. And then all of a sudden I have no more room to put a sheet of paper. If I'm an ant living in the surface of the desk, I say, no more room. But wait a minute. We are three-dimensional people. And I can put an organizer and, and, and stack things vertically. So I can take a sheet of paper, and now I can put it higher up than the surface of the desk. The ant will say, where did it go? Oh my gosh, it disappeared in some portal. Where? No, no, what, what is that? It went into the third dimension, and the ant bound to, uh, ant obviously is a, th a three-dimensional thing. Right. Imagine it's, it only lives in two dimensions. You would have made that paper disappear into a third dimension, and it will have no clue where it went because you had a portal, you had access to that extra dimension. So look at how much you can store on a desk when you have access to a third dimension above it. Vastly more than just papers mosaicked out on the surface. So now let's up this example by a dimension. You're storing boxes in a room. Oh, I ran out of room. No, you didn't. Let's open this four dimensional door. You open it, put the boxes through the door, close the door, Box is gone. That'd be awesome for hoarders. You, you, uh, <laughs> you look around the other side of the, right. the the door. There's nothing there. Right. The your side of the door, nothing there. It's just a door. That is a portal to a fourth dimension mm -hmm. that can hold vastly more content than what is what you're stuck storing in the three dimensional space of your room. Now that so, concept. So, so though, that's, that's a brilliant concept. And even though it has monsters that don't exist that all speak English, and one of them is a cyclops, and one of them is a you know, I'm not judging the biophysiology of these creatures, but they got the physics of of, of four dimensional portals completely accurate. Now the concept of dimensions is where it gets really abstract with people. I love me some dimensions. And it is abstract. It is. Now, and that's why you, 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 you take, let the math take you into those higher dimensions because our intuition will, not, will fail for us. Right. Well, that's what.